Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. Um, today's video is just a single cup. Um, it's a dirty flip cup and drag on a blue negative space background. Uh, reason being, I had a whole bunch of blue that I uh, wanted to use up. Um, I think that I was a little disappointed with the negative space blue. Um, just uh, with my uh, my black negative space backgrounds lately, I've been really loving those. I think that next time I'm gonna do the black negative space again, just because it just seemed to pop a little bit more. Anyways, so when I was putting the colors in the cup, I was going for. Um, thin layers because I really think that uh, makes more dynamic cells. Um, I put silicone in all the colors except for that big uh, tub of blue that I have there. And uh, I have to apologize in advance. Uh, this video is rather chopped up. Um, it took me forever to get the blue on. Um, it turned out I didn't have enough blue to cover the canvas. So um, there's a whole big stretch where you didn't see anything in the picture. Um, so I chopped that out. And then I got like a really awesome splash you can see there. But um, it was actually way more dramatic uh, in my studio because it literally exploded everywhere. Like there was just paint all over the floors, all over the walls. Um, so it took 10 minutes to clean that up before I continued on. Um, so I cut that big portion out as well. Cause I mean, obviously you weren't seeing anything. I got some uh, pretty cool cells. Um, my color is actually muddied a little bit more than I'm used to. So I'm wondering if that was because of uh, the violence in which I splashed that cup down or what. But uh, I decided that it was a perfect opportunity to try out a new little technique that I have had uh, bouncing around in my brain. Um, I love doing those little wispy things. and But I was having a hard time just kind of making like the lines smooth. So I decided to grab a thread and use that to make my wispy things. Um, this just made for smoother lines and I thought it actually worked out rather well. Uh, I got the idea because um, I got a cat hair in one of my paintings beforehand and I dragged it out and it created a perfect little line. Uh, but you know, using a cat hair is kind of gross. so. I, I grabbed some thread and used that instead, um, which I was pretty happy with. I actually uh, started like dipping the thread in uh, some paint and like dragging that through it and it made some uh, pretty interesting designs. So anyways, that's about it. Um, I'm really hoping that that blue will uh, smooth out a little bit more when it dries. Anyways, I'll give you a close up here. Got some cool lacing. You can see that my cells, um, there's like a lot of different colors in each one. It's almost like, a, you know those everlasting gob stoppers? I used to love those as a kid. Um, but I just think that's the neatest look, so. I think that I really get those from doing the thin layers. Anyways, I hope you liked my video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure you've subscribed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.